Welcome to pre-season testing ahead of the well-awaited 2026 Formula 1 season. With the all new regulations to the engines and the chassis, let's see what the teams have been up to. Lamborghini's engine deal with Mercedes was out at the end of the 2025 season, but as Lamborghini had been challenging Mercedes both in the Drivers and Constructors World Championships, Mercedes were unwilling to renegotiate a contract with a close rival. Therefore, Lamborghini are now powered by Honda as they hope that will take them to to their first constructors title this season. Lamborghini was the first team to release their livery and has gone for an all black with some bits of gold and red, what they are calling a stealth livery. For the first time since entering the sport in 2023, Lamborghini will start the season with the same driver lineup as they ended the last, as Oscar Piastri stays alongside the now double world champion Brown. The car with its all new engine did have some issues on the first day of testing, shutting down on track, bringing out the one and only red flag of the test. Although they had these issues, they were still four fastest on day one. They looked to be back on it on day two as they topped the times, but the car still looks to be inconsistent as they finished the final day. P5. Mercedes, the now 11 time constructors champions, come into the season looking to make it 12 and get their first driver's title since 2020 as George once again lost out to Brown last season. This year's car had little issues and finished the first day P2, completing the most amount of laps. However, the more they pushed the car, the slower it seemed to get, as the first day they were P2, P3 and P4 on days 2 and 3. They'll be hoping to sort out these issues before the first race. Red Bull once again had a winless season in 2025, only picking up two podium finishes over the whole season. Not only are they hoping that this is finally the car to challenge at the front again, they need this to be the car to get them to the front again as Max Verstappen isn't going to stick around forever in an uncompetitive car and it is only a matter of time before his eyes begin to wander. After a difficult first two days of testing being 5th and 6th fastest, they finished strong to the test, finishing P2. Verstappen believes that there is more pace in the car and is really confident that this is the car that can get them back to the front. Ferrari was another team to have a shocking season in 2025, finishing 6th in the constructors for the first time since 2020 and only picking up one win at the home GP at Monza. With Sainz and Leclerc both out of contract at the end of the season, they need to hope that this is the car to get them back towards the front more consistently. However, they look to have gone backwards with a horrible test, finishing each day of the test 7th, 8th and 9th. Sainz and Leclerc are both very unhappy with the car, with Sainz saying it's undrivable. Ferrari fans just need to hope that they can find a way to fix the car before the first race. McLaren had a slow start to last season, but by the final half of the season they were consistently picking up podiums, most notably once Joe joined the team following Piastri's departure to Lamborghini. McLaren believe that they have taken big steps coming into this season, but that doesn't look to be the case as they look to be right in the midfield fight, as those around them look to have made bigger steps. Aston Martin come into this season with a new driver lineup as they replaced the retired Fernando Alonso, F1's most experienced driver with the least experienced driver in Formula 1 as Teo Petrea finally gets his chance in Formula 1. Aston Martin started last season strong, winning the first race last season in Bahrain but fell off as the season went on. This season they'll be hoping to start the season strong again but looking at their testing results they may have have a lot of work to do as they look a certain midfield team. Alpine were the surprise of testing as they topped two days of the test with P2 on day two. They look to have got the regulations bang on. They completed the most amount of laps on day one but did have some issues with the car. Alpine picked up two podiums last season, Gasly and Ocon both getting one each. There is increasing pressure from the Alpine board to start winning races and titles and this could be the car to well get them there but we'll have to wait and see. Alfa Romeo come into this season now being fully taken over by Audi in everything but name. Last season it was a disappointing one only picking up 10 points both for Yuki Tsunoda. Like Alpine, Alfa Romeo had a strong test looking likely to be the third fastest car this season. If the car is quick 
Alfa Romeo hopes Zenoda can take this car to podiums and maybe wins as he did when he was driving for Lamborghini back in 2024. Williams finished the season 8th last season and are looking to progress this season going into the new regulations. However, they look to have stood still over the winter as those around them look to have taken bigger steps and bigger gains. It was rumoured that Alvin was on his way out of the team but he has full confidence in the team going into this season. Alfa Tari had another horrible season in 2025, once again going pointless despite changing their driver line up mid-season, dropping Fittipaldi for Hauga. They look to be well off the pace again this year, finishing the test as high as P9 on day 2. The car looks to miss lots of downfalls in high speed corners which they are hoping will be a quick fix in the early stages of this season. Haas had a horrible test as they missed the first half of day 1 as there was delays getting parts ready for the car to travel to Australia. Haas thought last season that they had a good car concept to build on but they were unable to unlock the performance they thought they had in the car and finished last season pointless once again. This season the car looks to be slow and unreliable as they completed the least amount of laps over each day of the three day test. It looks like it's going to be another long season for the American team. F1 announced another 16 race season coming into 2026, starting here in Australia for the first time since 2019. We then head to Miami and Imola for the first time since 2022 before returning to Monaco. We then head to Canada before heading back to Europe for the British and Belgium Grand Prix to finish off the first half of the season. We then return to Zanvo after a season off in 2025 to start the second half of the season before we go to Monza and Singapore. Then we're back to Suzuka after it had a very dramatic race last time it was on the calendar before we head to Mexico and Brazil. We then once again have a late European race in Portugal and we finish the season off under the lights of Abu Dhabi in what we hope will be another title decider. That is it for testing ahead of the long awaited 2026 regulation changes but who has got them right? We will find out here in Australia when those five red lights go out.